Hello P2s, in class we have been talking about volumes of water and here before me I have three different containers of water. The volume of water in each container is different. Now the question I want to ask you is, which container has the greatest volume of water? Volume is like the amount of space that the liquid takes up. The liquid is the green water. Now which one do you think has the greatest volume of water. Now, some of you will say, mm, I think this one, because look, the water level is the highest. I think this one has the least volume because this one, the water level is so low. Is that true? Now, we need to look carefully because can you see that the containers are of different sizes and even different shapes? So when this is the case, different, different size containers, we cannot just use our eyes and say, oh, I think this one is more. Okay? It is not accurate. Now when we have different containers, different size, different shapes, we have to use same size cups or containers that are the same size so that we can compare. Now how am I going to do this? I'm going to pour all the liquid into cups. I'm going to do it for each of these containers. So let's see, I'm going to start with this container. I'm going to pour the liquid into cups. So, this container can fill one cup. Two cups. Two cups and almost three, but this third cup is not full. So it's only two and a bit more, not yet three cups. Now this is this container, yeah, this one. So I'm going to put it aside first. Now let's look at this second container. I'm going to pour it into cups. Can it fill one cup? Yes, it can, one cup. Do you think you can fill another cup? Oh, about half a cup, but not yet another cup. So now this container can fill one around one and a half cups of water. Okay, now let's look at this third container. Let's pour it into cups. One cup. Two cups, oh, more than two cups. Two cups and and a bit more. Okay, so let's line them up. Now this first container has two cups and around two and a half, a bit more than half. Okay, this second container has only one and a half cups, this container. And the last container has two cups and not yet half. Or run, kind of look like half, yeah? Now, can you tell me which one has the greatest volume? Now, this one has the greatest volume because it has two cups and more. This one also has two cups and more, right? So let's compare these two. Can you see? This cup has more, so... The volume of water in this container is the greatest. You didn't think of that, right? And which one has the least? This one, because it doesn't even fill two cups. Now I can always pour the liquid back into the original containers now. When I pour it back, it's still the same amount of liquid, right? It's still the same, it's still the same amount. Now this is the least, so I'm gonna put it that side. I'm going to pour it back this one. This is second. Remember the amount of water remains the same when I pour it back. Okay, this is next. This one, this one. And the one with the most amount of liquid, amount of green water, is this container. Okay.
Can you see? Looking at this, you can't tell, right? But remember the cups? This one could fill more than two cups, almost three. This one could fill two and a half. And this one could not even fill two cups. So the volume of water in this one is the greatest. Now we do this, we pour it out and we pour it back. We do this when the containers are all different sizes or different shapes.